In this video, we're gonna talk about how we got $11,000 over asking on a former for sale by owner in only a week. Freddie Jones, Kyle Lambert, going to Lambert Group with Remax Premier Realty. You heard Freddie correctly, that is right. Um, we have a really cool success story with actually a former for sale by owner um, here in the villages where they listed the home. They got no showings, no offers. They listed with us, they trusted us, and we got them on $11,000 above the asking price that they listed the home at. Yeah, so Brad and Connie Mueller, I don't know if you know them, but they were in the village of Collier. They had a sunflower model, it backed up to non villages property, so there was some value in a lot having privacy. They were for sale by owner for a little bit, and as some of you are probably experiencing, you're not getting any good showings with quality buyers, pre approved buyers. They hired us, we came in. Within seven or eight days, we had around seven to 10 showings, and we ended up getting multiple offers. I believe the first offer came in around 382. We were listed at around 389.9, and uh, we didn't take that offer. Um, because we knew that we were going to get more. We got two more offers that came in. Um, they were actually around the same price, 389.9, pretty much full asking price. And we, what we did is, we, you're good at explaining it. Yeah, so basically this is, you know, you might be asking yourself, okay, they're going to hire a professional photographer who's they got Remax, you know, with a marketing dollars. That's all fine and dandy. I'm hearing that from other agents, but the real value when it comes to Freddie and myself is we pride ourselves on we are what we consider to be very good negotiators. You know, you can always improve your skills, but we are what we think are expert negotiators. So basically what happened was we created a multiple offer situation. So we got two very competitive offers. One was conventional finance and one was cash. So they were both, you know, very good. But what we did was we created them to bid against each other to see which client really wanted the home most. So like you said, the home was listed at 3899 told both agents who were representing the buyer at the time, bring your highest and best. Um, you know, even though you're at asking price, unfortunately there's another offer that is just as competitive and you're gonna have to bring your highest and best. So let's see how much your client really wants them. Leverage them against each other. And pretty much in the end, both of them came up a significant amount, but we were able to get one of them to come up as much as they could at 401. So we're listed at pretty much 390. And we closed at $401,000. Yeah. Yeah, cash, um, clothes. Uh, actually, the sellers were building a house in the, at the time and on top of the world and didn't let us know that. So their house wasn't gonna be ready for two or three months and they told us that right on the spot. So not only did we get them $11,000 over asking, but we set the closing out almost three months, which is very hard to do. We pretty much gave them everything that they could possibly ask for. And I know you're kind of wondering how in the world did they get maybe eight, nine showings in a week? How in the world did they get three offers in a week and end up selling it for $11,000 over asking price? Well guys, that's the magic of not only just hiring a realtor, because not every realtor can do that, but hiring us. Not only are we prime negotiators and we, we really pride ourselves on that, but we're expert advertising guys. We love marketing, we love advertising. That's where the bread and butter is in this business and we know how to get homes sold. We know, we don't believe in letting a buyer just randomly find your house for sale. We, we like to aggressively, actively go out and find the buyer through kind of reverse engineering, targeting buyers on Facebook, using different types of uh, software advertising platforms that we use, not other agents at Remax, not other agents at Sell State or Realty Executives, we use because we know how to. We're young, we're tech savvy, we sold roughly $10 million of real estate. We know what we're doing and we know what it takes to get your home sold. Guys, you might think that you're maybe leaving money on the table by hiring a realtor, that you're, uh, you know, that you're losing money by hiring a realtor, but you're not. What's gonna happen is the house is gonna take a long time to sell and you probably still won't get an offer if you're by yourself. Or maybe you hire an agent that charges very little commission. Well, it's like it's like buying shoes from Kmart that cost $12. In a week, they're gonna fall apart. You need to go with a high quality agent that is experienced and uses the best advertising strategies out there. And when you hire us, guys, you get a good price for your home. We actually, um, our homes will sell to sometimes three, four percent higher than what a home will sell with another agent. So our commission gets paid for through our works because we're gonna sell the house for a sufficient a sufficient price that you're really gonna like. So give us a call, we'd love to help you out. Freddie Gomez, Kyle Lambert, 
Goins and Lambert Group with the best MLS brokerage in the Villages, REMAX Premier Realty.